So first thing we need to do is remove the cover. Unscrew the four screws, lift off the lid, and we're good to go. We're presented with the screen and the three interface buttons. We have the hand button, the down, and the up buttons. To access the menu, hold the hand button for about five to 10 seconds. The first option we're presented with determines whether the positioner knows whether it's on a linear valve or whether it's on a rotary valve. At the moment, it's set to linear. We currently have it on a quarter turn rotary valve, so we're just going to use the plus and minus buttons to scroll through the options until it changes to what we want. This is a part turn actuator, so we're setting it to turn. This next option is used to determine the sensitivity of the positioner. For all 90 degree quarter turn applications, you want this set to 90 degrees. If you have a linear actuator which is 35 millimeters stroke or less, you'll want to change this by pressing the plus button until it says 33. This allows the increased sensitivity to detect the position over such a small stroke. Press the hand button again, and we come to the initialization. Hold down the plus button and initialization will begin. This is a common error that you'll come across during run two of initialization. Essentially, the, act the positioner needs to know what sort of actuator it's on, and we do this by adjusting the friction clutch. To adjust the friction clutch, there is a small yellow tab just inside the positioner's casing. Rotate this to loosen the clutch. Once it's loose, we can adjust the clutch by rotating the black wheel. You'll notice that as I rotate the clutch, there's a zero on the screen that moves from left to right. You want this to be approximately in the center. When it's in the center, you'll also have a position readout which is a, somewhere between five and 10. It doesn't have to be exact, close is good enough. Once we've done that, we simply re-tighten the clutch, which is the small yellow tab. And now we press the plus button to continue through commissioning. Another common issue you might come across is during run three, this error might present itself. Press the plus button. And what we wanna do is press the plus and minus buttons to adjust the position of the actuator manually until the readout at the top is between what's listed in the second line. Now we can continue. As this is a larger actuator, it will take a few minutes to go through each of the runs. We're just gonna skip forward ahead to the end. Once all five runs have been complete, you'll be presented with this screen. Press the hand button to exit out of commissioning and back into the menu. If you wanna change any settings in the menu, you can do so by scrolling forward by pressing the hand button, or if you'd like to scroll back through the menu, hold down the hand button and press the minus button. If you'd like to change a parameter, press the plus and minus buttons. In this case, we don't need to change anything, so we'll just exit out of the menu. Hold down the hand button for about five seconds and it will exit. After we exit, we're presented with the, the... After we exit, the positioner is in manual mode. We can adjust the position by pressing the plus and minus buttons. 
but in most cases you'll be wanting to control this remotely, either by 4 to 20 milliamp signal or by your network protocol. To change it between manual and auto, press the hand button. This is now being controlled by a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. And you can see it responds as I adjust the input signal, the positioner responds accordingly. Once this is all up and running, simply place the cover back on, tighten the screws, and you're good to go.